Okay, what I'm going to do here is something very, very simple. I'm going to use a 2H pencil. And what I'm going to do is just draw a standard line, probably about, I like to do it either, never in a, strictly in the middle. I like to either you do it about two thirds down or two thirds up. It just helps the eye for interest's sake. But if you want to do, I mean, or you can do it right across here, look like you're flying in a plane and going, and your whole horizon is going in the wrong direction. Um, but I'm just going to draw a line. No particular reason why. And that's going to be my horizon line. Yeah, it's not very straight. Um, I'm using the 2H pencil. It probably won't show up very well. I'm hoping it does. But anyway, I'm going to do point one, single point perspective right from here, right into the center, just for a vanishing point or perspective point. Draw a line out from that, out from that. You notice the difference in the thickness of the lines. This one here looks like it's farther away because it's fading off. This one's in the wrong, going in the wrong way that way. So I just made the line thicker that way. So thicker lines closer, thinner lines further away. Um, <clears throat> is this a road? Yeah, sure, why not? Or let's do a squiggle. That I like that. Take our handy dandy fantastic eraser here. Just gonna get rid of that guideline. This is a vinyl eraser. I like using this almost all the time because it gets rid of these lines so easily with regularly with very little fuss. Ah, uh, where is it? I used to have a brush that I just brushed the, yeah, whatever. I'll use my hands, nothing big. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create a little bit of mountain type of Yeah, just some lines that run down here like this and just bring it from there to there. Now you got your horizon down there and you can make it to whatever you want. Create the lines here, it gives it a little bit of interest. What are we running through the center? I don't know. A road? Or... Another... Ledge... That even goes further down. Like so. Squiggly lines, straight lines, but we just bring them straight down or you can curve them however way you want. You can keep doing this all the way down. But I'm just using the 2H pencil. What happens when I go to a um, darker pencil like the, <laughs> a little bit too dark, 6B? No. Let's try just your 2B pencil. What happens is you get a nice heavier line. that you can I like more interest going on what I'm going to do is I'm going to look like I'm just splitting the rock a bit creating a bit of a more of an interesting landscape and then I'll join that up like that Bring that one straight down so it looks like it's carved straight out. 
I'm using quick strokes with the pencil to give it a thinner finish so when I'm done with the stroke it's thin showing distance. Yeah, something like that basically. And don't worry if you can't get this right away. This is just off the top of my head. It's nothing special. It's nothing, um, nothing that is going to be a f uh, finished piece by any means, or a um, or a masterpiece, or whatever the case is. I don't have a ma I don't do masterpieces. I just do stuff from imagination, and this is one of them. And so, what I'm doing now is I'm just drawing this out. I'll put a little bit there. These guys are kind of curved down. I'm gonna give them a little bit of more life, a little bit of less. But I'm using the 2B pencil, and. All I've done is drawn a horizon line there. So you know that's your basic point. Of the, that's what your distance looks like. That's your horizon line. Then closer things are darker, le uh, darker line. And if you wanted, you wanted to go heavier, you can go with the great 6B, which gives you a thicker, darker line yet. I may have explained this in the last video, but I'm going to explain it again. It's a, a way to add more depth to your, your pictures. I've also used that in the sense of when I'm drawing doing pet portraits and whatnot. I do the same thing. I use the uh, start off with a 2H, then I work on to 2B. Sometimes I go to the B pencil, which is obviously in between the 2H and the 2B. And then I go to either 4B or 6B, depending upon the size of the picture, how much darker I do want to make it. Um, I might show some uh, samples of, of that work. I always liked to used to do this when I was going to school. I would create some sort of distant mountains or plateaus or or something of interest in the background, just to, instead of being a flat landscape. Unless you want to make a flat landscape, then that's totally up to you. But yeah, that's the difference between the 2B, as you can see, or 2H. And the, and the 2B, you can see that this is much lighter. Now I'm putting the same amount of pressure as I did on the 2B. And that's where you get your difference. If I want to really darken everything in to give this a shadow or I can make it all light here, um, I can either darken it in or I can leave it light. Um, you can use the same single point perspective. I'll go back to this. 2H again, single point perspective here. If you want to be more accurate, you can use a straight edge. Of course, I don't have one hanging around right around me right now. Uh, or do I? Oh, wait a minute. I just might. Just a minute here. Okay. So what if I want to put something up here? I don't know, all square, whatever. Work from the same point of reference. Keep that single dot. Um, let's make it a, I will start off with this, with a square. Yes, I am going to freehand it in. I normally scribble my free hands in like that. So what I'm going to do is just standard single point perspective, that line to that line, 
like that. Take all your corners and your edges, match them up. If you want to do the line all the way to your point of reference, that's fine too. I choose not to because it's just less to less to clean up, less to erase. So I'm going to do this, and there we go. And there's our there's our square, our cube, as it were. There we go. If you want to leave the lines on, you can use them as motion lines. It looks like it's flying through the air, but I'm going to get rid of that. And there we go. So if you want to do something to give it a sense of distance and a sense of uh, space, you can do your thick dark 6B pencil. And if you just have an HB pencil, that is fine. Just go with that. Double the line up or something and you'll be fine. And you'll notice here, how much darker it is. Now, if I go with this, oh, it looks like I missed my line here. See, what do I do there? I simply erase that. Go back to my line of reference again, my point of reference, line up. And do that. Easy peasy. basically your perspective lines or uh, horizon line again this is two-thirds just for it's for um, I think it's part of the Fibonacci sequence or the uh, golden ratio um, it works better if you instead of going straight down the middle if you do one to one point uh, I think it's one to one point six something like miles to a kilometer um, or kilometers to a mile. So if you do that, then you get, uh, it has more um, a natural look. The Fibonacci uh, sequence of the golden ra ratio is typical with uh, a lot of anything you see in nature, fractal patterns and whatnot. It's um, like seashells and sunflowers. You see how it just, the pattern spirals out. A lot of times, uh, what I've been told is that it is a, like a Fibonacci sequence. So anyway, that's just a little sampling of uh, today's video. And this is basically perspective. Um, you can keep going, adding things, putting something in front of, putting things behind. You can uh, start here and just gradually increase the whatever's closer obviously is going to be bigger and whatever's further away is going to be smaller and it's also going to be uh, using a lighter pencil um, to give the sense of distance for example something like that is going to look further away than something like this which is going to appear closer it's also going to have more detail in it it's also going to have more texture to it. The, the one further away is going to look faded. Lines are going to blur together. Shadows are going to blur together. Not as much detail. Um, I'll go into further, uh, in a future video, I'll show you what I mean. And uh, But I was just looking at perspective today regarding distance, horizon line, uh, thick and thin, dark and light um, pencils. And uh, just to give you a breakdown of pencils, I, on my previous video, I said I started off with 2H. That's a 2H. Um, <clears throat> 
Then I normally go to a B, then a 2B, that's a 2B. That is a, oh, that's a six, I don't want a six. Where's my other ones? Anyway, standard HB. You can see the difference in the thick, uh, thickness of the LEDs. As you go to your 2H and HB looks the same in the sense of uh, thickness of the LEDs. You go to the 2B, a little bit thicker. You go to the 6, you can see how it gets thicker. And from what I've been told, it is because of the a less lack of clay, the more graphite, graphite doesn't, um, is not as rigid as clay. And the more, uh, the less uh, clay there is, the more chance this lead breaks. So when you get a thinner lead, you can go with a thinner core because there's less, there's less graphite and there's more clay. I, I don't know what the percentage is, but um, the ratio uh, for clay to uh, graphite <clears throat> clay to graphite increases as the uh, the lighter the pencil. The thicker the pencil or the darker the, the uh, graphite or the lead, if you want to call it a lead, the core, um, the th thicker because there's uh, less clay. So it doesn't bond, as, it has to have a, a thicker core in order to keep it from, from snapping, from breaking all the time. And it also lays down a lot. You go through one of these pretty fast as opposed to your 2H or your HB uh, just because of the amount of graphite that's laid down at any point. All right uh, well thanks for watching and uh, hope you've learned something from this. Um, if you want to learn more I'm going to do, try to create more videos and maybe even go through a drawing where I'm actually creating something and uh, see in future episodes. Like, share, subscribe and uh, love to hear which, uh, see some of your drawings or even uh, post some uh, ideas that of future, for future videos that you would like to see me uh, create. Thanks so much. You have a great day now. Bye-bye.